Hi, my name is Spencer Liu, and today I just want to talk with you about the average annual return for the S&P 500. And the time frame that I want to take a look at is from 1926 till the end of 2010. And I'm not sure if everyone knows this, but the annualized average return is 9.8%. What's interesting about that 9.8% is it's actually not the most common thing that you find the S&P 500 will return in a year. And actually, if you take a look at returns over 20%, that happens about 37.6% of the time. From 0 to 20%, which would be considered average, close to that 9.8%, about 34.1%. And down more than 0%, just basically means a negative return, would happen 28.2, at least historically, percent of the time. So what does this mean for you as an investor? What it means is you can expect that the market's going to go down about one-third of the time. And, of course, just on how we're wired, we, we would like to avoid this, any negative uh, losses on our portfolio. The, the problem is, is that the market goes up over 70% of the time, so any time you try and sit out this period when it goes down, you miss the opportunity when it goes up. So one key to remember in terms of long-term investing is that the markets returned 9.8% from 1926 to the end of 2010. That's included a lot of corrections, bear markets, and all kinds of bad news. But if you just weathered it and you didn't pay attention to all the noise, you've earned 9.8% on your money compounded annually, which is a great return. And, of course, going forward, who knows, but... Most likely, these, these things will continue to hold true, and uh, we'll see probably 10% or so going forward in the markets. Thanks for watching. If you could, just take a moment to read these important disclosures. I'm Spencer Liu, the Finance Guy.